guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tabitha. This is my third video and I'm just here to talk about how I've started a luxury picnic company. It's been about a week since my last video and so yeah, today I'm gonna put on a face mask and chit chat about things. My face is breaking out so just like, excuse me. I waited until the baby was in bed this time too so that I didn't have to worry about juggling him with, with just one hand. I have the Clean and Clear Cleansing Clay Mask today. I was going to use my milk, uh, my milk makeup to wash my face, but I figured it would probably be louder if I used the sink at the same time. So, uh, anyway, a lot has happened in the last week. I since where was what did I do last week anyway? I had pretty much just thought of, gotten talked about how it was causing me a lot of anxiety because my brain was basically telling me it's gonna be difficult. You shouldn't do it. You should just give up. Um, and you know that's never gotten me anywhere before. So I have to do something different. Anyway, so I went online and I got myself set up with a person to help me figure out my LLC. I got that paperwork sent in with the check to secure the name. And I started a Facebook page this week. Check it out. It's Acadia, uh, Luxury Picnics Acadia. I should probably like, know my own business name. I'm going to run one. So yeah, Luxury Picnics Acadia. Check me out. Um, and I got set up with a photographer. I have somebody who I usually use like we had somebody who did our maternity photos and she did all of Townsend's newborn photos and she is fantastic. Um, so that will be coming up once we have some grass available. Unfortunately, you know, it's still snow everywhere, like everywhere, all over the ground. Um, so it probably won't be for another couple months, but I got over the anxiety of adding all of my friends on uh, Facebook to like my page because I was like, I should just ghost do this so that people don't judge me on what I'm capable of because I'm much more capable than people think. Um, but I got over that. I just was like, forget it. I'm never going to get any, like, any likes on my page if I don't just tell people that I'm doing it. So I did that. And yeah, I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback. I also this week taught myself how to make a rainbow like candy charcuterie board. Whoa, I know that's crazy. I probably spent more time like separating candy into colors than anything else. But I had um, a really fun time doing that. And my husband and I enjoyed eating it after. So, you know, pros of practicing. I just want to learn how to make like a regular charcuterie board now. Maybe some fruit and like bread and cheese. But I think with that comes the whole having to get, a, at least in Maine, a whole nother vendor license, you know, for supplying food and inspection and all that. And yeah, there's, other than that, there's not been much going on here and just getting excited and probably trying to speed the process along a little faster than, than it needs to be. But what can I say? I'm excited. I, I really... I didn't know that this is something that I wanted to do, but this has really just come out of nowhere and kind of shown me that this is something that I can do and it's okay to be scared, um, but don't let being scared stop you from trying. So hopefully by the summer we'll have some, some bookings. That would be great. I did have though on the website that I looked at, it tells me like what state people are looking at my website from. So I had, or, or country, I had one in Ireland. I thought that was so cool. I was like, wow. Yeah, I just, yeah. It's all so exciting. It's crazy to see just two people liking my Facebook page, let alone, you know, a hundred. A hundred's such a small number, but, you know, a hundred's better than zero, I guess. All right, my face is starting to tingle with this mask. I know it's like not anywhere even close to being dry. And again, excuse the fact that I have another mirror over here. 
but yeah. Also, it is so frozen here. It was like negative 18 yesterday, but we have our water running in our bathroom so our pipes don't freeze. So that's probably what the little trickling noise that you hear is. But I think I'm gonna wipe this, wipe this off. I'm breaking the rules too, because I know it says that you're supposed to keep it on until like, well, it doesn't specifically say 10 minutes, but it could if I peeled the packaging back. Yeah, no, I don't. Can be used twice daily, wet face, apply face, massage, rinse. Allow to, oh, okay. Allow to dry up to two to three minutes. And according to the video, it's been five. So, let's wipe that off. So how have you all been doing today? What's it like in the state that you live in? I hope none of you guys live in Texas. I've been feeling really badly for everybody out there. I didn't even think about how the fact that like people might not have insulation in their houses. But why would you in your house, you know, when your state is really hot? But I really hope that those of you who might be suffering right now, that, that you guys are able to pull through and things get settled quickly because God knows that we need an easy year this year. Yeah, I'm definitely like needing us to just take it easy, going quietly, nobody touch anything. So I just needed to get a dry wash off because my face is floating. All right, I'm gonna put on some moisturizer because I'm getting ready just to go to bed. Have a magical makeup bag. Oh, by the way, I don't know if any of you guys like love Harry Potter, but I love Harry Potter and I got a little cute Harry Potter bag and heart. It was so cute. How can you turn it down? Found it finally. All right. I love this stuff just because I have like, like combo skin. This is e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I really like it a lot. My husband kept saying, what? Just like washing your face and like doing your makeup have to do with picnics. And I was like, well, I'm just kind of documenting along the way. I don't have anything to like really show yet. Maybe my next video I can show you guys some of the stuff I've collected. It's all in my trunk right now. I've decided once it kind of gets to the point where it like won't fit in my car because it's kind of getting to that point, like my entire truck trunk is filled and I have a great Dane so I have to bring him places and I have to fit him and the baby into my tiny little CRV and how am I going to do that so I actually found some storage places locally and kind of did some price shopping found the cheapest one checked it out make sure there's like no mice you know not that every house doesn't have mice but just to make sure everything was good and insulated well and I'm going to store my stuff there and hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for me but I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff I even got a really neat record player it's a Bluetooth speaker record player check it out on Amazon I haven't quite figured out how it works though so you know stay tuned I might not it might not work if I can't figure it out it might just become a fancy house prop but who knows <sighs> anyway I'm getting really tired but thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys in a week.